I've, I've faced a lot of places where, I've been to a lot of places where it's challenging to read your salah. But wallahi, where there is a hole, there is a way. Can I have a few moments? You go into a nice tucked corner, please. Go into the corner, read two rakats of salah and you laugh. And don't let it be, you know, so conspicuous, especially when you're in a group of non-Muslims. You know, we don't want to be looked at as people who are X, Y, and Z, if you know what I mean. We want to be A, B, and C, the beginning of the alphabet, not right at the end. <laughs> so, if you've read your salah, mashallah, a little bit of salah and, you, and we're gone. But if we say, oh, how am I going to do it here? You know, what's going to happen over there? Wallahi, there might be some non-Muslims. I give you an example of what happened to me in Zurich at the airport. We wanted to read salah and I was with my dad. Mashallah, man, we'll be it. You know, we, I was also actually looking just what I look like now. <laughs> For a little place, and we were eating our salah, and we didn't even ponder for a moment why, uh, you know, that oh, there's a lot of people passing. We found a nice corner, put our bags, and we started eating salah. Believe me, there were at least about 10 to 15 people who had stopped and waited and watched, and a lot of them were women. <laughs> and they were just watching. And when they finished, wow, it's the first time we've seen this. It looks so serene. <laughs> position that I can actually have got into, where my brain is lower than my heart, so the oxygenated blood actually gets there so quick, so that when I get up, I can think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we need to have, not just typical, it's in the Quran, we've got to read five times a day, and that's it. But why they don't believe in the Quran? They have no 